Abraham Lincoln was born in Hodgeville, Kentucky in 1809 and was raised very poor on a farm. His mother died when he was nine, which was very hard for the whole family, so they ended up moving to Illinois for a better life. These struggles that he was raised in is what built up his strength to eventually become a lawyer and then become part of the Illinois legislature for five terms. Every president has been Democrat up to this point until Abraham Lincoln, which eventually became the first president for the National Union Party, which eventually became the Republican Party. Lincoln started out not being an abolitionist. Because he was part of the Illinois legislature, he was never faced with the slavery problems. When he became president, he was faced with a lot of decisions. One of Lincoln's quotes is, you cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. He believed in solving the problem now rather than dealing with it later. This is why he tackled the problem of slavery and he knew he could find a solution. Slavery has been the big topic that no president has been able to get people to agree about. Not even George Washington, one of the founders of America, could solve this problem. But Abraham Lincoln did what no president has ever done. He gave African Americans a voice. He passed the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed almost 3.1 million slaves. The Emancipation Proclamation only freed Southern slaves because Lincoln had to stop slavery at its source to kill out the rest. Lincoln became president during the Civil War, which is America's bloodiest war, with 620,000 American deaths. This is the nation's most divided time. No one could agree, political parties switching, the South needed to be managed, acts needed to be passed. There was so much going on at the time. Abraham Lincoln was the leader that everyone needed in this time of crisis. Abraham Lincoln was more than just a man. He was a hero, a hero that saved hundreds of years of slavery and death. Abraham Lincoln made one of the greatest speeches in history, known as the Gettysburg Address. The speech was at Gettysburg Cemetery, where 54,000 American soldiers were killed because of the Civil War. One of his quotes from the speech was, Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Lincoln stood up for equality when no one else did. Without Abraham Lincoln, do you think Martin Luther King would have still made his famous I Have a Dream speech? Would we still have segregated schools? Would we still have segregated neighborhoods? He pushed us so far along and the world wouldn't be the same without him. He started the first steps to the movement rights by passing the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment. This is what eventually kickstarted all the famous African Americans that we all know today with Rosa Parks, Booker T. Washington, and Martin Luther King. One of Lincoln's quotes is, nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's true character, give him power. Lincoln showed his true character by standing up for what was morally right instead of caring about the money. He made such an impact in such a short amount of time. He was president from 1861 to 1865 because he was assassinated at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. The whole country was devastated and spinning into chaos, but Abraham Lincoln had a dream for every person, no matter what race, to be equal. After his death, this dream became an epidemic that no one could stop. Lincoln caused a chain reaction that was way larger than he could fathom. He is the reason why all these protests and voting acts started rising. He started the change. It doesn't matter if you're just a normal person or the President of the United States. No one can compare to a man as great as Abraham Lincoln.